Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura and in the booth with me as always is Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello Jim. Oh, I'm so pleased how quick these weeks come round when it comes to Monday Night Claw because uh, I just freaking love it every single night. What a great card again. I can't wait for this one, baby. Woo! Woohoo! It is absolutely stack card. Very exciting. Let's get straight into it. We've got the new... The new champ and pride of Wales is <laughs> definitely Welsh, Dionysian, <laughs> who beat Gadernik, who's definitely American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's going to try for the web dope tile tonight? Uh, let's find out. Um, <laughs> the, the funny thing is that uh, Dio is Welsh, but if you've ever heard him try and do a Welsh accent, it is terrible. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know uh, how he manages that, but bless his heart. Uh, yeah, fantastic uh, victory for him. No one really expected it. And it's uh, it's being passed around like a hot potato again, the Wemdope title, after a couple of monster runs by Volkvagor and Chug Manmilk. Yeah, that's very true. Yes, and uh, my apologies. Yes, Howdy Nick, of course. Of course, Howdy Nick, not Gadir Nick. <laughs> Howdy Nick, he's very, very, very American. Well, let's get to ringside and see who's going to come out and try to take this, as you say. Yes, being American is better than being dead. Confirmed. Just. <laughs> oh boy, howdy! <laughs> oh, he's uh, he's coming to uh, to avenge his pupil. It's Team America, Captain Trippic, baby, <laughs> and all of his small package. <laughs> The, uh, the best of Blubble to ever lace up the boots. Also two phenomenal JFW superstars. They've maybe not quite hit the heights in the JFW yet that they've hit in Blood Bowl. It's uh, not far away. And this, of course, is a title match. So great chance for Try to add to his resume tonight. <laughs> I mean, I think looking at Try's attire, he's, he's definitely hit bigger heights in, in, in JFW than he's ever hit in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Could well be. This is a really tough one, Jim. I, I don't know who to call here. That's very true, yeah. But don't forget that Try does have to put up with or somehow endure the face under that mask. <laughs> yeah, I always forget it, but it's an it's an epic face of Dio. <laughs> it it sure is. It's enough to put anyone off their A game. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's the face that won in Blitzpit. <laughs> <laughs> Three times. <laughs> Three times Blitzpit winner. Definitely the Blitzpit goat. Yeah, well, sheep. <laughs> he is well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, yes, the, the, the Blitzpit sheep. Can he become the Wem Dope goat as well? Okay, mm -hmm. he's got a long way to go to uh, to get ahead of Volkvagor. Yeah, that's true. It is a terrifying is mask, but but it's not as bad as what lies beneath. <laughs> Volkvagor, figuratively and literally the Wemdok goat. Yes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, man. Dio, uh, famously ready for all possible outcomes. Tactically, in any situation, so for once, I don't give Try that much of an extra advantage oh. for spring in the small package. I think Dio will be ready for it. Are you, are you in Dio's Discord, Rick? I am. Did you see the Did you see the meme that Shawnee posted? It's, <laughs> no, it's no, the but I will shortly. <laughs> it's the best Blood Bowl meme ever. I've, I'll put it in my Discord there for people. It's absolutely incredible. It's, it's Dio centric, it, but it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. Dial. I could have him called Spence now, couldn't I, if they've got Spence as a name? Yeah, yeah. There's a possibility. Tries very tall, isn't he? Small package, but very, very big man. 
big man with a small package. <laughs> he, he has he has tried to claim that it's it's only relatively a small package, but I can confirm it is genuinely, literally, completely a small package. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'm glad you've done the investigation, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's nothing for the sake of the JFW I'm not prepared to do in the line of duty. <laughs> oh, my God. What a maneuver. Yeah, strong strong start from try. I really think uh, Dio's got his work cut out for him here to hold on to the title tonight. Generally speaking, Try has probably been the better JFW superstar of the two, but such a performance was, was Dio's to win the title last week that uh, yeah maybe maybe uh he, he finds a way to hold on to die and this is actually nice turn around from dio yeah. oh maybe not turn around from dio no oh yeah nobody able to to fully take control so far dio rolls out of the way he gets caught in a neck breaker Oh, lovely arm drag from Dio. Back and forth we go. This uh, really is a hard one to call at the moment. Oh. Let's try run the ropes. <laughs> Dio's face. Oh, the ref's down. Ref oh, is down. God. Neck breaker from Dio, but he can't win this at the moment. Oh, no, nope, nobody's there to count it. Two, three. He's retained. He's retained, Jim. <laughs> About three times he's retained. No, look, Try was just waiting to hear the count. As soon as the count came down, he kicked out instantly. He was just conserving energy. No need to kick out unnecessarily. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced, but fair enough. We'll, <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never know. I think uh, Dyer might be robbed if he doesn't retain now tonight. But he is on top right now. No! Reversal from Try. DDT neckbreaker again. We've seen a few neckbreakers. Yeah. Maybe he knows that that's a weakness of Dio, you know? It's, who knows? Who knows what information Try has got? Yeah, whereas uh, most people invulnerable to uh, damage at the neck. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Nasty from the top rope from Try. <laughs> I mean, some people <laughs> are more risk, aren't they? Like Edge, for example. You know what I mean, <laughs> right? Come on. <laughs> Fair enough. Back, back break from Try. <laughs> and he's, uh, he's definitely taking back control now. <laughs> he knows his neck has been trying to get rid of his <laughs> face. <laughs> oh, the ref takes ages to get down. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, that evens things up. That yeah. evens things up. Wow. I don't know if the ref was deliberately evening things up. He probably didn't even realize that he missed the pin last time. Yeah, that's a good point. You've just taken on me. Oof. Oh, nasty knockout blow knee to the to the head. That is really horrible. Oh, oh my, my word. And sort of a spine buster or... Yeah, this is pretty... Try exhausted brutal. with beating on Dio so hard. <laughs> Not a terrible state to be in. Dio dragging himself up on the ropes, but uh, I think Try's going to catch him. There we go. Uh, running the ropes now. Oh, nothing doing. Oh, Oof. DDT. Beautiful DDT straight into the pin. The ref's down this time. Could be it. New champion. Oh. Two. Oh, this is looking real bad for Dio, isn't it? He's, he's struggling, Jim. I think we might have yet another new Wemdope title champion. Um, are America and uh, the Celts in the same group, Jim? Or uh, They are indeed, are they... yes. Yes, they Ooh. are. Tasty. We could even see this matchup in the Nations Championship. Yeah. I don't know if we have. No, I think it's Dio versus Bazza. Oh, oh, we know the draw already. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Never mind. But still. But it's still themed, you know. It's still themed around the America versus Celtic. With uh... The animosity is there. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Dio wants to soften up try as much as possible. And he's doing a great job. Bulldog. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. This is why he's the champ. Great this stuff is why he's the champ. We haven't seen a single finisher yet, Jim. We haven't, no, but it looked like Try was trying to get one earlier. But now he's yeah. really, he's tired, isn't he? He is tired from Dio's face-to-fist technique. <laughs> oh. Desperation forearm, but it's not enough. Flying clothesline takes down Try, and yeah. 
Dio has just kind of, uh, yeah, done the Homer Simpson. <laughs> Worn out try has a punching bag and now come back strong and he ducks the clothesline and absolutely flattens him with one of his own. Now Dio tied in turn. They have been going at quite the pace, to be fair. Oh, here, oh, here we, go. we go. Surely to retain. Dirty deeds. Oh. Try looks completely unconscious. That is all, folks. Dio still. Oh. What? what? Did he actually kick out of that? <laughs> I thought that was three. Yeah, it didn't look like the shoulder went up to me, Jim. Maybe the I saw the like the leg move slightly, and the ref decided to stop the count. But I actually don't think the shoulder went up. No, yeah, it didn't look like it. I've never seen. I haven't seen that kick out until now. I don't no. think that was weird. <laughs> Two point nine nine. I, I guess so. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That's that it. could be it. We could have a new champ. It's Tri's big end. <laughs> 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 like a plunger <laughs> oh the American way dirty downright cheating Jim <laughs> yeah they're disgusterous everyone knows that if you, if you can't win honestly win at all means <laughs> deflate gate 2.0 <laughs> yeah. that's what Americans say isn't it if you're not cheating you're not trying <laughs> Don't get try without cheating. That's very true. <laughs> yeah, we, we've had Tom Brady in the JFW. Yeah. We've, we've put up with the American cheating before, and I'm sure we'll put up with it again. Oh, the ref <laughs> sees it, though. I am not scuppered by the exposed turnbuckle. Good and he see. sends try a run in. Oh, and that is a beautiful neck breaker. <laughs> Holy smoke. And the champion get it done now. He's getting really close. Fisherman suplex. Will he hold it for the pin? Ooh. Releases. Exhaustion takes over. Huge impact. Does get though. a this pin could in. Be enough. Might be enough. Yes. He's done it, Jim. He's done it. He's retained. He's. How? It... Wow. <laughs> I, I don't think any of us expected Dio to become the Wemdope champion. <laughs> Even less of us expected him to go on a run with the belt. But here we are. <laughs> Win number two. Retain number one. Dio is well and truly our Wemdo champ. His face, man. <laughs> Little D with a big W. Beautiful. Be fair, he's got uh, he's got a face to match the title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tries Tom Selleck's looks, un unable to compete. <laughs> Dio's blitz pit face. <laughs> Dude. Unbelievable! Well, there you go. What a what a what a win! Oh man, we've got a we've got a mega match now. Three versus three, all the Scousers versus all the Snackers. Wow! Oh my goodness, Jim! This this is delectable. Absolutely incredible match. The Scousers kind of have a point to prove, right? They, they've been on a tear. Like their win percentage in the JFW is it obscene? However, uh, Steve, Motti, and Fugonomic no, have struggled a little win. bit at the Until tail end I'm at the victorious. business end of the tag team title and matches regarding defend. the belts. And defend. even Hancock finally suffering a loss, albeit. Monday, Friday, happy days. Match. Monday, Friday, happy <laughs> to, uh, to days. Rick Monday, Friday, JDG happy days. Jimmy Days. Week. What a day rocking so, all week for you. Yeah, this is kind of a bit of a comeback match for the Scousers. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's interesting that we've got, you know, obviously Hancock basically cleaned out the Plim Plum Pluserweight, but this is probably his main Plim Plum Pluserweight rival, isn't it? His Muppet Pac-Man, and they've both got backup of a three-man team, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big one in, in, in both singles and tags. Um, it's got both elements to it, and thank you very much, Poopy Scoop 666 for staying fantastic for eight glorious months, absolutely just said glorious glorious <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> uh, you, you're absolutely right jim muppet probably the greatest uh plim plum blues away of all time in the jfw but he had many shots and he wasn't able to do it he had to sit out the last pay-per-view as other plim plum blues weights finally got the uh, the shot at hancock instead hancock did it again though maybe even easier than ever so somebody's got a challenge for the title 
And great to see Muppet get a chance to prove his worth here tonight. I hope he does it, though, because if he doesn't, then we might have to move on again. Well, if he doesn't, that means the Scousers are bloody won. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> 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 They're looking chill and happy limbering up, but uh, from three gold down to one, that won't sit well with them. And we did say last week, didn't we, that the, uh, the tag team title scene is wide open again. We need a new challenger. Six feet down under made their case, beating the glorious ones last week. But uh, yeah, the Snackers and the Scousers will both want to make a point this week. Mm -hmm. The Scousers, of course, were beaten by CBT last week, so... They oh, they, already, they were. Yeah, they yeah, were no, already you're... taking a hit in that regard. You're right, actually. You are right. So yeah, maybe... Uh, Maybe the Snackers with the, the best chance of uh, showing something tonight. But you never rule anybody out. You've got to start somewhere. Let's see what the Scousers have this week. <laughs> oh, man, pretty happy with the Scousers. <laughs> they, they are phenomenal superstars of the JFW, undoubtedly. <laughs> it took three hours each to get the hair perms done alone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're booing the, the snackers again. They always do, I was going to say. <laughs> Here we go. The least popular tag team in the JFW. Yeah. The, beloved scout, the beloved snackers. Yeah, the heart and soul in the JFW. It, people just uh, just more health conscious these days, Jim, and that's, that's no bad thing. <laughs> We're aware of what sugar does to us, and uh, you know it needs to be a sometimes food. And unfortunately, the snackers live by another philosophy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Uh, fat got the got a bad rap for so long. Yeah, sugar all along. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so what? What they really should be throwing is like a nice juicy fat steak into the crowd, and then and then maybe they get cheered again. Oh God, I'd cheer that. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> block of brie, you know, you you name it. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine just catching a stick? It'd be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I I'd, I'd have to throw it back though and ask it to be well done. Oh no, Rick! Oh my no, god, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I I did only say that for the sake of. Uh, comedy I, I i take them rare <laughs> okay thank god for that i was gonna say like do you know what i mean even if you've massacred loads of people and have their heads in the fridge that i could forgive you for <laughs> if you like well done steak <laughs> then, then it could have been the end of monday night <laughs> what kind of inhuman monster would like well done steak <laughs> 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 All right, Muppet and Hancock going at it. We get the Plip Plop Bruiserweight action immediately. Yeah. And it's Muppet in control. What a DDT. Swinging DDT. Went every which way around Hancock. Amazing. Do you know what? In Germany, they call rare English. How good is that? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm glad everything was the same. No way for you. I nearly had to unfold. <laughs> Actually, not rare. Well, I thought it was. Oh, medium rare. I, I'm oh, surprised I'm they don't call it blood meat slab. Well, I'm disappointed then because I was told. I was told rare. It, it was rare. It wasn't medium rare. So oh, Muppet it for the win. What a lovely roll up that was. Muppet absolutely styling on Hancock. He really is making a case for the uh, Plimpon Bluesaweight title yeah. tonight. Scousers, like you say, maybe already missing their 
their ship as far as the titles in the near future are concerned from last week. Mainly here then to back up Hancock. Try and prevent Muppet from getting another shot at the title. Ooh. Oh! Oh, the ref! The ref distracted by fucking Oink! The cheating has begun, Jim. The cheating has begun. We knew it would happen. Absolutely disgusterous. <laughs> don't know how we got oh. him on our right side at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely turnaround from Hancock. And now we're on to some of the bigger guys. Fogonomic against J5. Oh, J5, baby. I'm sorry. Maybe we are still in the Plim Plum Blues away. <laughs> Tell you what, the Snackers have easily had the best of this so far. Wow. Oh. <laughs> then a squat to, to t him oh. afterwards. <laughs> incredible stuff. Floor over DDT. The moves that J5's got is incredible, isn't it? There isn't something they, more good. They really are. He executes them to perfection. And this is what a show from up here. What a show from J5 so far. This is an absolute demolition. The mm -hmm. Scousers descent. Off the cliff just uh, continues to plummet. <laughs> They've got to try and pull something out here, Jim. Got too well. Fuggers looks like he's getting some control back here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, forget about that. <laughs> Self rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great tag. Hancock back in, though. He, he took a beating only a moment ago <laughs> and he gets caught immediately by an elbow. Oh, my word. Wiped out. Only Steve Marty left fresh. Can Hancock make a tag? Oh, wow, what a great spinning kick. Oh, J5, okay, but eats a drop kick. Oh, my word. No, oh, he blocks the suplex, J5. <laughs> what a match he's having so far. Yeah, if, uh, if Fuganomic and Steve Marty aren't careful, they're, they're going to become the, uh, the Hancock support band, and that's the last thing that they'd want. <laughs> Hancock getting on top. Nice. Yeah, really, really well executed drop kick by Hancock. Could really do with that tag to Steve Motti. I want to see from a Scouser's point of view. I want to see the fresh man in the ring. That's a great pin, but it isn't going to do it. No. Wow. Quite close. Did, did get the two. Yeah, no. yeah. Surprised. Oh, God, and here Hancock we go. Hancock wants this. this. Oh. 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 I, they need to save this. Yep, so is it. Satterfield does, thank goodness. <laughs> Even manages to, to toss away Hancock, but Fogonomic takes him out. Satterfield, who we've not seen yet as the legal man, wiped out on the outside. Muppet comes in. That was random. <laughs> Again, still not going to Steve Motti. Oh, double oh. super kick. And he's so busted up, but he makes the tag. It's Muppet. The only stacker. Active and healthy, drop kick, nice, but it doesn't do it. And oh my goodness, power slam! <laughs> Muppet immediately in a bad way. Fogonomic with a point to prove. Oh, that is nasty at that size difference. Arm drag from Muppet, desperation times. Can he keep it going? Misses with a drop kick. Oh, disaster. Oh no, Jim. <laughs> he might have lost to his own drop kick. <laughs> no, he's all right. Though. <laughs> oh, Timmy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh Hurricane oh, Rana with 6 on 9. Oh, baby. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> will he go for the pin? Yes, he will. The scouts Not are right saving there. it. That could be it. Oh. No. Not even close. Economic powers up to his feet. Caught with a whip, though. Into the Snackers corner and a nasty forearm. Oh, fights back with a knee. No tag for Muppet. Economic could do with one as well, though. Still got two fresh men that we've not seen. Oh, a bit wiped out. Oh, kicks to the gut. Gets himself free. Oh, oh what a DDT. Come on, Muppet. Why isn't Satfield there for the tag, Jim? I don't know. 
Oh, it's another <laughs> 619! <laughs> no, it's not. It's oh. not a 619. Oh, brings in Jolly Five. Fugger going for the, uh, the tag. He's got a long way to go. It isn't happening. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oosh. Stomped to death. Muppet, can he intercept Hancock? No, he can't. No, he just didn't really go very fast at all. Oh, my oh, goodness, oh. though. Beautiful Spinning heel kick. kick. Yeah, beautiful wheel kick. For good they're doing a good job of hanging in there. Look at that. Unagi. What an Unagi. Ref, though, having to check Hancock goes out and Satfield easily saving in the meantime. In and out before anyone even sees. Story of his life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve still oh, hasn't been tagged in. I thought, yeah, I thought we were finally going to see Steve Marty. It mm -hmm. hasn't happened. Are we finding the see Saturn? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, here comes Muppet again. <laughs> Not quite the impact as when Saturn does that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it might have done a job, and there goes Fogonomics. Sends him flying. Oh, rolls to the outside. Smart. Desperate, but smart from Fogonomic. Great ring awareness. That was incredible. <laughs> oh, Muppet too quick. Fogon too strong. Muppet too quick again. Oh, oh the wheel kick. This is strong stuff from Muppet, isn't it? He's like, he's, you know, he's ludicrously outmatched size-wise, but he's so good, isn't he? Ah, uh, st story of his career, isn't it? You know, he's been overcoming the odds the entire two years at the JFW, and he, he, he so often does find a way. Like, he's not only a great at the Plim Plom Blues away, he is a crossover star. He has beaten some absolute super heavyweights. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's Steve Buddy! Hooray! It's Steve Buddy for the first time today! <laughs> oh, Muppet! Bounces up! Muppet, yeah. get in there! Wow! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, Muppet. <laughs> I, was, I was just complimenting you. What? Steve Butter, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, my, oh my goodness. We waited all day to see Steve Butter. <laughs> just for him to ignore his opponent. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and it's Satterfield! Why? It's Satterfield! Oh, no. The oh, Scouse is in all sorts of trouble now. <laughs> oh, he catches the kick! <laughs> oh, the and then Satterfield reverses, kick to the gut, and he gets it this time! Oh. Massive knee! <laughs> no snacks for you, Steve Mighty. Oh, J5! Oh, the double team! Oh, oh wow. my goodness! Oh my goodness! Wow! Oh, absolutely wipe out Steve Mighty on the outside, and oh my goodness! <laughs> How many feet of concrete, Jim? Oh my god, uh. 17 today, 17. Oh, okay. Well, he might just survive it, but this is an absolute pounding. Catches the leg. Catches the leg, and Satfield finally down. It's the first thing Steve Mott managed to do in a long, long time. <laughs> Feeds Satfield into the apron. Nicely done. We've got a while to go on the count yet. Yeah. Oh, the speed of Satfield. <laughs> Look at the height of that kick. <laughs> oh! Oh, Steve Motty, eat steel, sir. We're up to seven. Okay, easy. Yep, cuss off the tag attempt. Very some nice. speed tonight. And here's the, the knee. Oh, oh Steve Motty with the speed this time. Still, though, Satfield, lovely uh, headlock takedown, smothering him under that armpit. <laughs> oh, lovely. Rather him than me. Reminds me of the, uh, oh, do you remember the word? The, the, you know, I'll do anything to get on TV. Do you remember that? The what, sorry? The word. You know the TV show, The Word. Oh, and, no, sorry, man. And it was like, it was called The Hopefuls or something, and they said they'd do anything to get on TV. And huh. it was some dude who, like, licked the armpit of, like, a, some granny's armpit or something. Oh, <laughs> half crab. Oh, man, half crab. Not good enough. Yeah, I, was I guess I'm older than you, Eric. I can, yeah, I guess so. I guess I am. I don't know why that one passed me by. Yeah, maybe it was a little before my time. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, he's been targeting the guts team, Marty. If he had abs before, they've been demolished now. Goodness me. Snackers have been on fire tonight. I, I would have had the Scouts as a favourite at the start, but the Snackers have been incredible. <laughs> oh, massive right hand, though, from Steve Motti. And he wants to finish it, but no. Southfield <laughs> clinging to the ropes for dear life, and it saves him. <laughs> it wasn't in black and white, Fox and Moon, yeah. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> so it, did, it have, did it have just subtitles, Jim? Was it silent? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Charlie Chaplin was the main guy. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I think I learned about them in history class. Oh my goodness, just constant demolition from Satfield. He's done so much, he could probably do it, tag it out, but he's going to go for the knee again. He missed it last time. Here we go. No dodging it a second time, surely. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness, Steve Motti is dead. Oh no. It's over. It's over. No, what? I can't believe they didn't come to save him, and I can't believe after all this he managed to kick out. No. Oh! Oh my, oh my god, oh look at that. Every inch of that 17 inches <laughs> caused <Covered>. pain. <laughs> brutal. Oh man. This, is, this has been an absolute brutal war. Credit to both teams, to be honest. Mm. Simply, simply going through this is an ordeal and is a testament to their dedication in the tag team divisions of the JFW. Yeah. <laughs> <That's how it's laughs> yeah. There was passengers, wasn't there? That was that was like a similar to the word as well. Elbow from Steve Motti. Nice head drag takedown. Oh, snap map. <laughs> Punch to the gut. Nope. And he's worried he's uh, he's gonna miss the count. Come on, Satterfield. Oh, oh, oh my, yeah. restarts the count. Wow. <laughs> oh, Spear! That's why. Yeah. That's why. Muppet! Muppet's Muppet. sitting off! Muppet's on the rampage! Oh, Muppet's sitting it off! Unbelievable! <laughs> oh, Muppet! That is the ultimate prize. <laughs> has he bought Satfield enough time? Yes, he yeah. has! <laughs> well done, Muppet! Oh, <laughs> oh my, my goodness! <laughs> That was, that was great teamwork from Muppet, that, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, fucking up, The two biggest guys. Oh, he dodges him. <laughs> he comes. Oh. Oh, he oh, oh, bounces up. Oh, I need to get wiped out again. Oh, great <laughs> effort from Satfield, but hats off to fucking up. What a re-entry. Satfield's been in there and aged Jim. He needs to get out. Yep. <laughs> he did phenomenally well. He dominated the majority of uh, that battle with Steve Motti, but he must be exhausted. Oh, my oh. God. He's taking this trio of suplexes. Yeah, if he, if he didn't need to tag out before, he does now. <laughs> this this oh. has been a quality match, Johnny B. Good. Oh, he's bridging! Oh, he's got Intercepts him! Intercepts Muppet, he's, he's got, got him. him! Oh! Oh, Hancock making a statement, intercepting Bobby Pacman to give the Scousers the win. And hats off to Fuganomic. That was a phenomenal finish. The Scousers are back, Jim. Yeah, incredible performance and prophetic by Satterfield. <laughs> Said we were doing well because he hadn't been in the ring. He gets tagged in, <laughs> stays in, <laughs> and loses. <laughs> <laughs> he could have written the script himself. <laughs> yes. Satterfield was completely prophetic, you're right. <laughs> wow, blood streaming down the face of Steve Marty. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow, my and God. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. Oh, there we go. Now we've got uh, we've got a bourbon a top hat versus a sp a Spanish Scot in a <laughs> in a uh, Inquisition hat. <laughs> there you go. Good, good, good description, Jim. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, the two two big winners from last week, of course. Burb defeated Ducky, amazing win, and Firstborn in a triple threat, really in style. And for Mia, nobody really gave him a chance against Dimmy. Found a way to get it done. So yeah, trying to see uh, who is the most informed out of these two. Goodness knows. Um, but I, I can't, I can't wait to find out. 
Yeah, the Scottish Inquisition, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should really... Yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah, that's a good idea. I've just had there that I can get served and spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> Could start a stable called the uh, the Scottish Armada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea, is it? <laughs> Full of like famous Scots, like Gadernick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nick. <laughs> Pretty good. I, I don't think McNaughton qualifies, Steve Marty. <laughs> I'm sure Chuck Man Milk would join. <laughs> yeah. How awful you fuck. Oh man. <laughs> Nick it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds more like he belongs in the Scousers, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Jim Muppet might have to wait for that Plim Plum Please Wait title shot. Interested to see who can uh, who can step up. Yeah, absolutely. Not all that long now until the uh, the Royal Rumble, one of the biggest shows in the entire calendar. Yeah, it's just like uh, nearly nearly three we less than three weeks away, isn't it? Yeah, there was quite a long wait, wasn't there, till day two from the previous pay per view? But uh, yeah, Rumble right around the corner. Yeah, rapid. Help, Nick. <laughs> oh, God, yes. <laughs> That's brilliant. Help, Nick. <laughs> well, I'm uh, not a big fan of his backstage antics for me, but uh, he's starting to get it done in between the ropes, and that's where it counts. Hats off to him. Yeah, be a ridiculously big win if he can get this done again tonight. Yeah, both, uh, both as you said, picked up big wins last week, so it's going to be interesting to see who can build on that momentum tonight. Sad that he's no longer available for commentary, but at least it means we can see him wrestle, so every crowd's got a silver line in there. That's, that's it, yeah. One of the uh, the shining new superstars of the JFW, and we get him occasionally right, is... Uh... He's, he's like a special treat now. He's like uh, Terry's chocolate orange. You know, yeah. you, you get it once a year, and it's the nicest thing you've ever eaten. Yeah, he's got, he is really nice to be fair. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> yes, brother, yeah. Yeah, it's obviously cause still very much appreciate whenever whenever he, he's in the booth. As is uh, as is Gorilla Metal sometimes, isn't he? A, a rare appearance at uh, at day two. Oh, that was yeah, incredible. That, that was that was pretty amazing at the uh, the main event of day two. What a what an honor that was to co commentate with the legend himself. <laughs> Even if he seemed a, a little disappointed at the <laughs> at the outcome of the match, <laughs> but it was a classic match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the disdain from Vermeer, and what a start, just quietly. Incredible. Absolutely taking it to Burb. Yeah, no, not a fan of Birds, is he? He was he famously he was critical of Elkmeen, and uh, <laughs> now he's, he's gunning for Burb at the top. Who, who in their right mind would be critical of Elkmeen, honestly? I, I worry for that guy's sanity. Fair comment. <laughs> I think he might just be against furries in general, which is uh, Help me, in my humble opinion, it's a bold position in the JFW, isn't it? <laughs> that I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh, again, again, he goes for the slap. Let me. <laughs> I think uh, Vermeer might be on the Scuramezzo <laughs> train of uh, not liking the furries here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bob's oh. had it off. Oh, Vermeer, what a, what a leap to get out of the way that was. <laughs> Incredible. Into a wonderful neck breaker. Is mm -hmm. uh, is that a weakness on a bird, Jim, or, or do they have particularly strong necks? <laughs> oh, flip off, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fight back now. <laughs> oh, pecked him in the face. <laughs> he pecked him in the face. Is that legal? I guess it is. The ref hasn't called it. <laughs> oh, famous, sir. <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear. Oh, oh my standing goodness. on his hands. Those With talons. Those webbed toes. He's using every, every part of his body that isn't particularly human anatomy. He is using <laughs> to his advantage here. Credit to him, I guess. Yeah. And he, he, he won with a fantastic, glorious flight from the top rope <laughs> last week, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. He sure did. Of course, he needs a strong neck to do that, to deliver those flying headbutts. So, yeah, maybe he's not a weakness for a bird. Maybe they do have particularly strong necks. <laughs> oh, oh, DDT on the hardest part of the ring. <laughs> Oh, he's going to scramble anybody's brains, and look at this. Goodness me, Vermeer made an absolutely flying start to this match. Burb just equalized in one foul swoop. Yeah, one foul swoop, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh uh, well, Manus, I did ask Jim if he, uh, if he likes a tit, but he said that he prefers a good swallow. So there you go, yeah, I think African swallow. To, to answer that question. Uh, rolls from here into the ring. <laughs> oh, <dear me. laughs> Even the cloaca, yeah, that's a good point. This, the neck stronger <laughs> than usual, but the cloaca is a definite weakness for person at <laughs> <laughs> What a what a massive move. That was just quietly hurt himself as much as Vermeer. Took it out of both men. Vermeer managing to counter and recover the quicker of the two from Burb's own maneuver. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Jim, I really think we need a ruling on this at some point. Second time that he's headbutted him with the beak, and this time it's busting him up the third time. Fourth time, Jim. This is, this is ridiculous. This is obscene. Like, can you just bring a knife if you say it's part of your claw or something to, to the ring? Like, this is this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> well, I mean, the, you know, Odin has got those claws, hasn't he? The prehistoric turtle. So, you know, it's like, the, the, you know, there's Chunter with the claws and the uh, and the feet. It's it does seem fair game if you've got that kind of anatomy. Look at the horns on on uh, on. Volk and uh, I suppose, I suppose so, Jim. I, you know, I don't know what the human advantage is. Oh, Moose, oh no! Onto the knees, at least they're legal knees. Saying that, don't the knees bend the other way on birds? I oh, don't, goodness knows. Right. <laughs> oh, that is nice, though. I don't How think they have particularly strong that? knees, you know, Rick. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good to know. I'm learning so much. <laughs> Wow, this is this has had everything. Goodness knows, who is the favourite to win this at this point? Yeah. Drop oh, kick to the back, but Burb bounces up. Vermeer oh. though whips immediately and sends him oh, no, flying. Oh, come to Mason. I haven't seen oh, that before. Oh. Wow. Oh my days. Is go. it over? The early GG. We've got to say it's over because it's the early GG. <laughs> <laughs> that really could be it. They've both been put through the ringer. Yes, Jim! Oh, no. oh man! Oh, man! At least he definitely got the shoulder up. I don't know about the timing, because that was unbelievably late kick out. At least he definitely got his shoulder up, unlike last match. Yep. Dan's bird flying again. Our bird's supposed to be able to land when they, set, when they fly. Yeah, you would think so. Not a penguin, though. <laughs> that's that's true. Oh, dear. A 30 man furry oh. animal. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I don't think we have quite that many, though. Wow, that was close. Yeah, but Burb's absolutely on the precipice here, isn't he? For me, despite being a little bit battered and bruised himself, blood dripping down his face. Oh, he misses! <laughs> he misses! Oh, no! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Feeds his face into the canvas! This could be it? No, 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 no. Easy kick. Wow. wow. I think. But Vermeer must have been doing some extra training, Jamie. He really has stepped it up a level, hasn't he, in recent weeks? He has, but he was always great backstage, so maybe he's just finally learned how to apply that in the ring. Yeah, something was just going wrong. He was like, he was like missing moves and celebrating at the wrong time and stuff on his first few matches, right? There was some real rust going on. 
and he's shaken that off and just become an absolute machine. Having said that, big <laughs> to the face. Oh, man. He's oh, going to fly. He's oh. going to fly, Jim. This won it for him last week. We've seen him win many a match this way. He does soar like an eagle, to be fair. <laughs> oh, that's got to be it. Should be. No! <laughs> Goodness me. Oh, for me, it looks so, so beat up, though. That is, oh, man, that's painful to look at. Yeah, crimson mask for sure. Multiple lacerations on that face from the beak. It's a good job he's a, he's a bit of a hardcore specialist, is that for me? Is he going to catch Burb? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Burb having to catch his breath, or I think he had that one. He's going to fly again. Oh, my word. Right, Vermeer has to get out of the way of this, or well, this is absolutely it. I think Burb is the winner after a complete war. Hats off to both of them. Good night, Vermeer. Congratulations, Burb. Two huge wins back to back. No! What on earth? What on earth? My God. He can't believe it. Neither can I. How the hell did find me a kick out of that? That, uh, that just defies all understanding of wrestling in the JFW. I have no idea. And he hits him with an uppercut. <laughs> Snap their takedown. Headlock. He could even tap. This has been such a war. Anyone could go at any moment now. That's, that's unreal. Ref looking really intently. Is Burb going to have to tap? Oh, thank God. What what a terrible ending that would have been after the incredible kick out. <laughs> tap, tap, tap to a headlock. <laughs> oh, my word. Samir just dead on the outside. The last thing Ooh. he needed. Oh, jawbreaker. No beak breaker. <laughs> oh, it doesn't Ooh. last long. Double axe handle sends him down onto the concrete again. <laughs> Herb delight. I don't know where he's finding the energy to dance after what they've been through together. Yeah, this has been an absolute war. Oh, oh no! Oh. oh god, he's got blood all over his chest now. Finally, oh dear. This is this is ridiculous. That, the ref needs to stop it. Really, how on earth has he caught Burb and thrown him back in? <laughs> Vermeer with surely his you last roll the of the dice. Blood Rust in the open. Into this the canvas. Busts him open for beer. Yes, and glorious. All at the same time. Whoa. Who's he done that to? Wow. Wow. That is unbelievable, isn't it? What a man. That, that is incredible. Like. <laughs> he was talking of rare steak. That for me was basically a rare steak at the end of that game. There wasn't much more to him than that. And <laughs> how on earth he found a way to pull out the victory, I have no idea. How he kicked out of the second one of those, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> yeah. Unreal. <laughs> the, the replay is just finally getting destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Look at him. Look at him. He's the best. Well, further up the ladder he goes. How long before he gets onto a title scene? We will see. Yeah, incredible stuff. Oh, oh, oh wow now we've got now we've got two of if not the two premier tag teams in the jfw apart of course from the tag team champs wrestling kick nation we've got six feet down under taken on cbt absolutely jim after after last week this is uh, pretty much an unofficial number one contenders match, isn't it, really? Uh, CBT unbelievably beating the Scouts. I say unbelievably. Like, I, I'm starting to feel like an idiot because I love them. I always say how good they are. I always say they're the underdog. and They always find a way to win. Like, at some point, I need to put two and two together and say that they're a favorite in a match. But I'm not going to do that tonight. <laughs> Six feet down under. Beat the glorious ones and are just unbelievable monsters of men. So good in the JFW. 
Surely the surely the favourites in this one. But yes, I, I really think this is an unofficial number one contenders match. Amazing form from both of these. Uh, past and present, and can't wait to see who wins this. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely glorious. Thank you very much to Jimbo. And of course, of course, massive thanks to Rick as well, and Skuro, and Fimir, and Bezel, and, you know, everyone else who's helped, and Tony, and, you know, so it's, it's all... It's been a been a group effort, hasn't it? So thank you, thank you very much. Help me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, he did he did some pretty epic promos. For, uh, he did, for yeah. Like, yeah. He did. To be fair, as much as like, like, like I'm really like him. That's the worst thing. I really like him. <laughs> yeah. but he's just he's just a bit of a, you know, he's a bit too much sometimes. Too much of a twat. <laughs> Basically, but yeah, he re he really went the whole nine yards buying the seagull costume. It was amazing, like, and it, the, the yeah. promos were incredible. But. So yeah, fair play. Then, but I just wish he wasn't in there. <laughs> well, Jim, I tell you what, if uh, if I didn't have them as favourites before, I certainly do now. I see that Gengar's in the corner because he is a little bit the tag team specialist in Six Feet Down Under, isn't he? He is, um, yeah. Deprived of his regular partner, though, because we used to see him and uh, Gdanik tagging, of course, back when Gdanik used to be dead. But <laughs> now that he's uh, alive and well again, yeah, Gengar a little bit of a loose end, but what a great job role, even if it is just manager. He he could really, really win this one, make the difference. Yeah. J J right, Jim, I'm, I'm making a promise now to you, to myself, to the JFW. If Cock and Ball Torture win tonight, I am never, ever, ever saying that they're not the favorite in a match again. I'm, I, every single match that they're ever in, I'm going to declare them the favorites, okay? Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Because, cool. I mean, they do really look the underdogs here tonight. I would say, you know, maybe sometimes they haven't been the underdogs when you said they are but i think they are definitely the underdogs tonight for sure but yeah okay. they have to i mean they have done some incredible underdog wins don't get me wrong that that night when they were beaten up backstage by uh, the glorious ones all three as yeah. well like mrs wang had beat up sheila and then they came <laughs> out and they won that was unbelievable wasn't it that was the pinnacle wasn't it that that yeah. really was you know and that, that was at the tail end of the the greatest tag team title run we've seen in the jfw so yeah <laughs> absolutely and, it, and that is only one of many examples we could give but that was probably the absolute peak <laughs> yeah and, uh, and and a nice start from cocky okay now there we go my <laughs> demon powering through <laughs> six feet down under a lamps of the store maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> if uh, if that does prove to be the case I will. Uh, I will never say otherwise again. Oh, the ref! Oh, <laughs> cocky, getting cocky. I love it. <laughs> oh, Maradon! <Martin. laughs> this is how they do it, Jim. They find every little advantage available and they take it. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Gosh, I, I hope Night Demon's arm not too decayed from his death because he's had <laughs> how many worked over every which way? Oh, a lovely reversal though into an armbar. Too early for, for Cocky to tap, though. Finds a way out, rolls through. Oh. Lovely double unhook suplex there from, from Night Demon. Oh, Cocky parrying out. All that working out, working wonders for him. Good stitches all there. I mean, they've got to, like, he can't afford to lose his right arm, can he? Uh, Night Demon, no undead ladies in the JFW. <laughs> 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 People say Gdanik was his right arm, but uh, yeah, well, yet to be seen how they respond to losing a man. Good early tagging from CBT. This is another feature of how they get this done the superior tagging. Oh, jaw break from Bardam. Oh, but look at the disdain and the power of Night Demon to just throw him away as he throws himself through the air towards him. And double underhook suplex again. Oh my word. Oh. oh. Goat Buster. Oh, good. And here we go, Night Demon gonna tag in. Pepper Biscuit. Uh oh. Very, very wise. And yeah, this doesn't bode well for Moradam. <laughs> Look at the size difference. <laughs> But of course, 
Uh, Moradama Goblin Bruiser. You know, he's got that thick skull. He's used to he's used to the uh, you know Black Hawks manhandling him. So maybe maybe Pepper the Biscuit not that scary for Moradam. Yeah, and uh, sneaky get stronger these days as well. And if Moradam's anything in the JFW, it is one sneaky get. Absolutely. Not even always that sneaky about it, but the the, the ref <laughs> just seems to let him get away with anything he wants. Yeah, well, it's those cheap bribes, isn't it? That's the thing. Ah, yeah, that must be it. Jawbreaker again. Very nice. Huge <laughs> right hand. Not a bad effort in the power game from Moradam, but eventually, eventually <laughs> thrown away from Pepper Biscuit relatively easily. And uh oh, he's going for a ride. Oh. oh. Brain buster. But uh, definitely not a particular weakness of Goblin's <laughs> brain. <laughs> no, he's, got, he's even got thick skull, so there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not a weakness for him. Oh, my what? God. Gosh, yeah. Okay, this is <laughs> early disaster for Moradam and CBT <laughs> by extension. Oh, he's he's never been that high up. <laughs> Maybe when a, a troll tried to throw a teammate one time, and Cocky having to make the save, he does get there. Oh Night Demon the takes out the ref. ref annihilated by Night Demon. <laughs> that was oh no, Cocky slammed by Night Demon. <laughs> Moradam's going to have to find something good. Oh, no, saying that, Cocky, surprisingly. Okay, no. Oh, yes, saved God. by Moradam. Wow, now Moradam fighting back against Pepper Biscuit as well. Uh-oh. <laughs> Once more, it's uh, only uh, a brief reprise from Moradam. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Look at oh this. no! <laughs> With absolute ease, like a rag doll, Moradam from seven feet up, oh. crashing down. I always wonder, Jim, like with with moves like that, if your body weight is lighter, does it mean that you take less damage? It's a good question. Probably, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Probably, because when you're a kid and you fall over, you just bounce back up. And then when you're old, you just like, everything hurts. <laughs> and you feel like you've died. <laughs> but you're heavier, aren't you, when you're older? So maybe that's it. Yeah, could could definitely be a part of it, for sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. Brain buster again. <laughs> and they say the bigger they CBT are, they are struggling the fall, here, so yeah, but even by Even by their underdog comeback standards. <laughs> oh, man. Rushing headbutt with the mass. Talking of questionable legalities. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, another press slam finisher from PB. Yeah. And as you can see, PB, looking at his neck, that there, there is a particular weakness there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fair. We we all saw the uh, the flicky flat match. We know that that is true. Can Cocky <laughs> save the day again? Just about. Ooh. Oh my day. Oh, my oh but absolutely demolished. Pepper Biscuit's so angry. Oh, here we oh, go again. <laughs> oh, no, Jim. Oh, that's got to be it. This this has been a, a complete execution. This has not been a match. <laughs> oh, God. oh, go on, Moradam. Nope. <laughs> again, the reprise so brief. Oh, but elbows. Come on, Moradam. Go on, son. <laughs> Cocky really struggling on the outside. Yeah. Oh, spear. Oh, boy. Like a, like a mini getting hit by a tank, Jim. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, backbreaker. And he's not done yet. Only thing is, the longer he takes, the longer he gives Cocky chance to recover. Yeah, yeah. Cocky on the air, but Cocky on the air from now. Oh my goodness, third brain buster. He's going to get through that thick skull eventually. <laughs> oh dear me. Never thought I'd feel sorry for a goblin, but there you go. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty painful to watch. There really hasn't been much coming back. Eventually, we normally see a low blow or something. We've not even had that. And now Night Demon wants to get in on the fun. Oh! <laughs> Reminiscent of Legion of Doom. Mm -hmm. 
Just stomping him. <laughs> just like, yeah, just gonna stomp the crap out of him. Haha, <laughs> 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 Oh, Maradam, desperation kick out of the corner. Can he actually make anything of it? Whips him down over to Cocky, but no. No, it doesn't last. Night Demon back in control. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maradam tried to make the desperation tag. Can't do that either. Night Demon casually walking in between him and Cocky just to make a point. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smoke. I don't know when we're going to be able to see Mardam again. No, yeah, this he is might be out for a while. Savage, isn't it? It's just a savage beatdown. Oh, dear. I, I haven't seen anyone this beaten up since Vermeer won his last match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it busts him open finally. The goblin blood appears. That was the last uh, straw that broke the camel's back. Oh, wow. And And surely, <laughs> surely this is the end. Yeah, at least it'll be over now, probably. But Cocky's pretty swift. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Think of your friend, Cocky. Just let him be pinned, for goodness sake. For yeah. goodness sake. Oh, oh God. Man. <laughs> well, that was devastating, wasn't it? Power driver. Maradam's still trying to fight back, but it just isn't happening. It just isn't happening. <laughs> He's too far him, gone. Please. Fans boo booing now. I, like, it's fun to watch a beatdown to a point, isn't it? But this is this is getting hard to watch. This is painful. Yeah. Any any moral person, and unfortunately, six feet down under a knot, will say enough is enough at this point. <laughs> like, he's just toying with it. He literally he only has to pin him at any moment, doesn't he? And it's all over. Yeah. Night Demon's doing this for statistic pleasure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something you should know all about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. We're gonna see another zombie. Not yet. He might he might decide this is enough. I think that's gotta be it. Why Surely. not pin him? Surely just He's out of him. breath beating on him. Yeah, that is just if ever it's been over. Cocky slid back oh in. Oh my so goodness, he, was like, he kicked out. He was still on the outside all that time, but then he slid in to get in. And then, wow. Yeah. And Mario with a kick tag, for goodness sake. <laughs> Why isn't he tagging? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. Mario what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> oh. Cocky survived that, though, right? He walked back to the apron. Yeah. So he's still there. Night Demon so exhausted beating on Mardam, I think he's gonna tag Pepper Biscuit maybe in a moment. I think so. He, he has really got himself out of breath, though, Zombie. Okay. Well, this is certainly the end of Mardam. I mean, I think it was the end of Mardam a while ago, but Cocky. It, it was. Can Cocky make it? Can Pepper Biscuit cut him off? Cocky makes it, he misses! Oh no, he missed him! Yeah, he, he hit okay. Pepper Biscuit, didn't he? But then couldn't get up and hit Night Demon in time. It's, it's, a, it's a mercy, though, isn't it, Jim? That's, it I, I, honestly, I'm relieved. <laughs> yeah. Credit to Six Feet Down Under. That was, that was horrific. And uh, I can carry on calling uh, CBT underdogs now, so, I, so I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think, uh, I think Wrestle Kick Nation might have just found their next uh, competitors. Yeah, absolutely. Holy smokes. They destroyed the glorious ones. They've destroyed CBT. That's uh, that's big. Ken Gar looking pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> you me? You me? <laughs> Absolutely brutal. <laughs> yeah, Night Demon. <laughs> yeah, they're literally trying to execute people now to, to hire. 
<laughs> no, he's just a goblin, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of all the people that you thought you wouldn't feel sorry for, a goblin's got to rank up there, hasn't it? You know, almost as almost as disgusting and cheating as a scouser is a goblin. <laughs> There you go. Right now we've got two, two kind of furries, right? Kind of. Squirrel dude has got a a tail that he wears for his entrance. God knows how he attaches it. And Volfagor, of course, has fully transitioned into a uh, into a Bestfagor. He has. He has. Uh, yeah. Uh, two great competitors here, both on the comeback trail, though somewhat. Yeah. Um, we we've seen incredible things from them in the past. Not so much recently. They'll want to change that. Yeah, absolutely. I love Squirrel Dude, Jim. He's a great competitor. He's a great personality. Why, why have we not seen the best of him just recently? It's a good question. I don't know. It's, it's, it's tough, isn't it? It is tough to, like, you know, for everyone to get there. Get the chance, isn't it? I guess, and you know the the whims of Mr. Jim McMahon, you know, and it's it's just who knows, who knows. It, you know, it's it is stacked, isn't it? The JFW, like with talent wise, you know, it's not, there's no easy matches. No, true, yeah, and, and it could be fine lines as well, I suppose. You know, he he look went his way for a little bit. He got a good run. He got some titles, and then it didn't take much bad luck for him to to lose a few matches and then disappear for a while. Yeah, it's a fair point. Exactly, Matthew. Yeah, he just kicking out an instinct, wasn't he? He was absolutely he'd been absolutely destroyed. <laughs> just didn't know where he was, what he was doing. But he hung in there. Jim, one of these competitors forever in a quest for more nuts, um, and the other one pretty horny. Hey. Yep. I thought you were going to say one is on a constant quest for more nuts and the other one's a squirrel. (laughs) (laughs) The happiest beastman you've ever seen in your life. Certainly, certainly is. All the mutations a Beastman could ask for, and uh, and it has served him well. Whether it's the mutations, whether it's the happiness, Bonk for Gore has been uh, better for it in the JFW. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, maybe, maybe the greatest Wemdope champion we've ever had. Yeah. Uh, he, it might be, well, Volk, it might be uh, on to bigger and better things. I mean, we've got to start here tonight. Yeah, yeah you, you never know. Where the road might lead you, uh, lead you if you if you keep getting the wins. Yeah. Always opportunity in the JFW. Yeah. Fortunately, <laughs> ridiculously tough challenge against Squirrel Dude, though. <laughs> it's a good point, Star. Yeah, I think the I think the announcers were fooled into saying he was from Germany, and then obviously the 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 tailor has given him. Black, red, and yellow attire. He should have. He should have obviously had Andorran colours. Yeah, <laughs> bit of a mistake there. All oh, the speed of Squirrel Dude getting the upper hand. Orc though looking a little bit more the powerful of the two yeah. since he became a beast man. <laughs> we will have to see how he uses those uh, horns. We saw Burb using the beak to incredible effect, not getting the win, mind you, but still incredible use of the beak earlier. We know that Volk likes to use the horns to get an upper hand. Yeah, that was savage, wasn't it? The beak absolutely mauled the face of Vimeer. He was c- covered in blood by the end of the I, I've never seen a winner look so much like a loser <laughs> in my entire time at the JFW. And yeah, it was basically all the beaks doing. Yeah. Oh, nice strength of Volk sending Squirrel flying and crashing into the announce table. And for some reason, as and not the Spanish one, which uh, I'm not very happy about. <laughs> no, pretty. Uh, not not yeah, wrestling yes. tradition. No. But I mean, he's Andorra and he doesn't know. Oh! <laughs> wow. Squirrel dude sending Volk into the fans. We don't see that very often. No. 
Oh, wow, that was an eight count. That was so close. Oh, folks celebrating way, way too early and pays the prize. Manages to power out, though. Nice uppercut. Follows it up with a scoop slam. Squirrel dude over the back. Swinging DDT, horns into the mat, and Squirrel Dude is in control. Yeah. Do you know if that's a, a particular weakness, uh, the horns, uh, like, you know, them getting damaged or not? <laughs> uh, well, it would certainly reduce the, uh, the offensive capabilities. I don't know if it makes them more pinnable, per se. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well, that's a big round. Uh, that was a nice right hand. And we're back outside again. These two not, not particularly wanting to fight in the ring so far this evening. Yeah. Nice forearm. Wow, what a drop <laughs> kick. Uh, forget sometimes that along with the additional power is also additional athleticism from Volfgori is the complete package these days. Sure a package is. that uh, Trific would be jealous of. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'd like to see Lex Luger versus Try One Day. <laughs> that, that'd be pretty great. He is basically Alex Luger. Oh my word, onto the concrete. No, no. We're up oh. to seven. Oh. Squirrel Dude is going to be counted out. Volk's won. Oh. Volk has surely won. Surely. Uh, don't throw him back in, Volk, you idiot. Whoa. <laughs> wow, he's, he's feeling so confident after that, and, and may well he. Wants to show Jims McMahon what he's really made of and, and get the pin or submission. Oh, but a jawbreaker. How is Squirrel Dude fighting back after that? He can't have much left. Oh, man. <laughs> Apparently, we can the horns makes it easy to toss him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the calf crusher. Wow, that's really nice roll through there. Stylistic from Squirrel Dude and very effective. Oh! Oh, I thought it was me, Jim. I thought he was tapping. Nice escape, though, from Volt. <laughs> yeah, sure. After you ice cream, man, maybe. He is very expensive. We we need we need like something like Fault Forces kebab fund again to get him involved. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is he is a rare. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get him back at some point. But he is he is a rare treat. Yeah. Brady is a sometimes food. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice moves from Squirrel Dude here. Mm. Oh, he, he's exhausted though, Jim. Having to wipe the sweat from his eyes, catch his breath. Oh, but he was ready for this. Uh oh, last ride. As you can see, PC, he, he, he looks more like a Ken doll than uh, anything else. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right strength from Squirrel Dude back up the ladder he flies one two three yeah, he's got him Jim oh. Squirrel Dude in style he weakened him outside the ring Volko had it one on a count out decided to bring it back inside and not take the victory and pays the price yeah that was, bit, that was a Jimmy Fantastic spit <laughs> Can't say I'm sad we're going to see more of Squirrel. Uh, absolutely wonderful superstar, and we already see enough of Volk as it is. Get him some better attire, for goodness sake. Sorry, I just randomly coughed my guts out then. That was a Jimmy Fantastic special, wasn't it? Beaten up, then hits one move and wins. Unbelievable. Wow. Now we've got what a main event this is, eh? The entirety of Quad Skulls versus the entirety of Yorkshire. Uh, just incredible, Jim. Yeah, a uh, plethora of uh, JFW talent on show, on display for us to feast upon. We are spoiled here. The Master Chef has served us up a treat. I Honestly, <laughs> I can't wait. I love all eight of these guys. They are all fantastic. Anybody could win this one. What do you reckon, Jim? Yeah, anything anything can happen apart from I guarantee at least one ginger starting in the ring. <laughs> 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 but yes, it'll be it will be yeah. It'll be interesting to see the tactics that Space Cadet comes up for this one. 
Uh, yeah, maybe man for man. The Yorkshire team a little bit stronger thinking about it. They've got the tag team champions. They've got the recent Wemd Up champion. They've got the world champion, probably the greatest wrestler today in the JFW in JBG. He is truly the good boy. He is overpowered. He is the best. But he did lose last week, uh, as did Hancock, to Rick. Uh, you know, the other world champion, that so to speak. Not, that is not true, Rick. <laughs> JBG oh, won last week. No, you're absolutely right. JBG won last week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Rick on a losing streak. My bad. Sorry, it was, of course, it was at, uh, at the main event that Rick got his victory. Yeah, JBG once again, yeah, far, far too strong. Um, so Rick with a point to prove. Maybe Rick will, uh, will turn it around yeah. and, uh, and show us what he's got because he certainly hasn't been up until now. Yeah, but he, yeah, he, he did. He did defend his title in that triple threat. Yeah, but then was not able to win the triple threat against the other champions, Hancock and JBG last week. Almost like when the title's not on the line, we don't see the A game of Rick for some reason. It sure does feel like that. Yeah. Well, the game only allows three man entrances, so here come the quad schools <laughs> first. Rick is always at his best, though, when he's got the Quad Skulls backing him up. They were phenomenal at Survivor Series. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Love to see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah on, on paper, so I love these three, but some would say not as strong in the ring as the tag champions. As the Wem Dope champ as the ex Wem Dope champion and as the world champion, but like you say, when Space Cadet gets a plan and it comes together, <laughs> these three are unbeatable. Yeah. <laughs> the Power Rangers have really aged poorly. <laughs> <laughs> have gone from being like 20 to 50 now right the, uh, the original power rangers something like that yeah 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 pretty old oh remember the pink ranger <laughs> who who doesn't <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is a shame about Bob Saget, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, 51. 51 now. Gosh. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Making me feel old, Jim. <laughs> yeah. You made me feel old, not knowing the word. <laughs> <laughs> I might just be forgetting. I honestly... Yeah, Terry Christian. I, Do you remember Terry Christian? Not ringing a bell, to be honest. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe if I Google it. Yeah, Visual maybe. Visual stimulation. Maybe, yeah. Here they are, the tag champions. They've been absolutely amazing recently. One slight blip against Dress for Business. They put that right at day two. And they have been the tag champions for a good long while now. They've gone through the glorious ones. They've won them off the Scousers. You name it, they've beaten them. Yep. And uh, the Quad Skulls got an awfully large task facing off against these tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> Dear PC, yeah. <laughs> Danny Burr, wasn't it? Danny Burr was one. Do you remember her? Rick? Danny Burr? Uh, nope. <laughs> so, no. Sorry, mate. None of this. Man. For some reason, it's ringing any bell. Man, she was a bit of a hottie back in the day. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking, Rick? Me? I'm, I'm uh, 37. Oh, right, yeah, okay, so four years younger, yeah, that's that's fair then, I guess. <laughs> Your old boss had an affair with Danny there, amazing. <laughs> of 
glorious. He's the wife here. Why she can't just first divorce? <laughs> oh, not that great then. <laughs> it's a good claim to fame though, isn't it? <laughs> YPA baby, they are a force to be reckoned with, they always have been, but have we ever seen a run now quite like JBG in the uh, in the JFW gym? He just never flinches, he, you know, he never struggles, he never loses, he just wins every single time. I almost want him to lose tonight just to see that it's even possible anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, run, our Google runs it down the minimum and it says, is it the worst? Pretty film ever made. <laughs> so there you go. Oh my goodness, Jim, who's who? <laughs> yeah, we've got. <laughs> we've got Elliot versus Stone, the green gingers are facing off. And it's an instant rowdy lock. Oh my god. Oh, that could be it. Man, imagine the tap there. <laughs> oh, oh my no, Oh, what is going on? What is going on? <laughs> oh, Spears is trying, trying to, to get save it. already. He's distracted the ref. Oh, Goodness man. me. Great strategy from Space, to be fair. Kind of timed it wrong, though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Elio versus his future. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Yeah, Mark Lamar. Yeah. yeah, he did do the MC Hammer dance. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Super well. Oh, Elliot with the tag though, Jackball. Jackball against Flicky. Oh boy, not just being able to watch for once for Jackball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're actually getting Jackball. Oh my word, these spinning forearms are superb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the shaggy thing as well. Of, uh, Flicky flag. I don't think that's a weakness, Jim. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. Probably uh, feeling like he's getting a bit of a massage right now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, using the size advantage. Whoa. Nice rollout from Jackball, though. And he's caught him out. He wasn't expecting <laughs> it. Scoop slam. Oh, man. This is a great start from Jackball. Yeah. Shouting Flicky brother does there. sometimes. He does start a bit slow, though, doesn't he, Flicky, sometimes? Gets caught up, and then later in the match really brings the fire. Yeah, he kind of hooks up, doesn't he? He's just like, you can hear him sometimes from the ringside. You can just hear him saying, it's just not possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of like he starts out as this really nice man, one of the nicest men that you could possibly know. And then slowly, as he gets a little bit unluckier throughout the match, <laughs> the anger begins to rise, and then he brings the fire down upon his opponents. Yeah. <laughs> Even to the point of murdering Pepper Biscuit. Yeah, and Gdynik. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And would have murdered the bread mask. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he God. is our incredible Hulk, bless him. <laughs> but so so often Bruce Banner. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, wow. Elliot taking it to him as well. I'm surprised Elliot tagged back in. It is the Elliot and Jackball show at the moment. Yeah. And it's definitely not the Flicky show. Not yet. Oh, but he, he Jackball timed that badly. Oh, that was a long way to fall onto the concrete. Out of the way of the punt and a neck breaker onto the concrete of his own. Oh man, YPA are gonna have to do some work after this. Lucky desperation kick, huge right hand. That's what he's capable of, though, Jim. He's so powerful, he's so strong when he gets it going. Oh, comeback from Jack Ball. Oh, oh and into the ring post, up to six. Uh oh. Uh oh, Jim. Oh, uh oh. Foxamania. Stuns him. Oh, and he, <laughs> he replies back, but he's got to get in the ring. It could be over. Flicky's Nine. down. Nine. Jim, it's done. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Nearly the biggest upset and a classic uh, Space Cadet strategy win. <laughs> uh oh, but here we go. Here comes JBG. GG. <laughs> A good boy. 
And just look at this. Immediately flattens Jabal as if he's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Had a great game with Good Boy before the before the uh, claw tonight. It was it was wonderful. Oh nice. Oh wow, he's just got space in his side. He's just, just just decided he's added off of space. <laughs> but then it doesn't matter because he catches the drop kick of Jabal anyway. <laughs> Flips it back over to Yorkshire. Oh, Jabal dodging out of the way. Nice. And uh, JBG in with the quad skulls. Eats a flying forearm. Wouldn't mind to see a tag from Jabal now. This has been nice from him for sure. But he needs to fully capitalize on this. Hello. <laughs> Pretty great. Sending JBG for a ride. Man, quad skulls are bringing it tonight, Jim. They really are, yeah. Just as you thought, JBG might come back into it. Huge right hand and snap suplex. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. We've had this before from Jack Bull, and sometimes he just goes on a rampage and wins, to be fair. But he doesn't like to tag too often. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> and he's got himself in a little bit of trouble here. Nice elbow from JBG. I like the build-up to that. <laughs> oh, good cutter. Oh, good cutter. Good cutter. Somebody needs to save Jack Ball. Elliot's too slow. No, yeah. it's over. Whoa. He's it's... just too good, Jim. It's it's ridiculous. It's not even fair. <laughs> All the quad skulls in the ring. It's chaos. Store taking out uh, Elliot, but he's not the legal man. I don't think it's space, but he gets flattened by Flicky. Whoa. Flicky versus space. <laughs> oh, Spear. <laughs> Spear! That is not who I expected to lay the other one out with a spear. <laughs> <laughs> no. There. Oh no. Oh no. Flackhammer. Come on, space. Oh boy. Quad skulls need you. <laughs> yeah, you, you're a fool if you bet against JBG. You're just uh, you're a, you're a fool or you hate gym shards. One or the other. One, two. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> I don't know where Elliot is. <laughs> Rick looking forlorn on the apron. Not a Copus Mentis friend in sight for Rick. <laughs> Elliot oh, was no. taken out by Store after the uh, after after uh, Jack Bull was eliminated. Oh, come oh yes, space, space cadet baby. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Xamania sent absolutely flying. The slightest mm. bit of hope. Back in the eyes of the quad skulls. Can they do it? Just the three of them. Oh, oh, How oh, many of these oh. kind of matches have we had, Jim? Have we ever had it where like one team's gone behind in members and pulled it back and won? No, I don't think so. It's usually been brutally one-sided. <laughs> Does, doesn't bode well. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and that doesn't bode well for Space Cadet. We're getting dangerously close to 10 here, Jim. We are. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Stop, he's already dead. <laughs> Absolutely savage here from Foxomania. Look at that. Oh no, we can have a double count, count out, out, Jim. Up to nine. I think we've got a double count out. No, he's got space counted out, the dirty bastard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, space out, Foxed. No one's coming in, though. <laughs> oh, Rick okay, finding Rick's his in. dive, baby. Oh, fantastic. Flip me! Get wrecked, Foxomania. Flip Rick me. knew what he was doing. Instant. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think he needed that, Jim. I, I think... I think the quad skull. Well, obviously, two men down. The quad skulls are in a ridiculous amount of trouble. It goes without saying. That's a lovely suplex. But maybe, just maybe, if Rick had got that quick pin there, they, they could have pulled it back. Rick and Elliot. They could have somehow found a way to get it to two-two. Tremania -two. busted open. But now, I, I don't know. I just don't see it. No, it's going to be really hard. Man. And, uh... That was a really disgusting count-out elimination on Space Cadet from Foxomania. <laughs> it was, it? yeah. I, I expect better from Yorkshireman, to be honest with you. <laughs> really? <laughs> Have you drunk that tea? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? That's, that's all I drink, Jim, pretty much. Is it? Oh, man, you should try Rington's if you can get it. Oh, okay. 
Oh, it's amazing, honestly. It's amazing. I, I think York, to be fair, I think Yorkshire tea is like the second best tea. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, Rincon's is like perfection. Oh, Foxomania finally getting the better of Rick, but Rick pops back up. Nice uppercut from Foxomania. He could do with a tag. Been in there much too long, and he, he took quite a bit of damage from space. Yep. Oh, lovely flying clothesline from Rick. But he's got to get this one done. He can't just stay and trade. He needs to get Foxomania out there. And this would do it, Jim. This yeah. would do it. Elliot's going to have to get in an intercept. I hope he's ready. <laughs> it was not Foxomania. <laughs> You're better than that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he outsmarted Space Cadet. That's pretty good, isn't it? Not everyone can do that, you know? Only, only one time out of nine, some people... <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that the that the Yorkshire crew are, are supposed to be like the best, right? The best wrestlers. They can win properly in the ring, pins and submissions. Like space gets it done that way because otherwise quad skulls probably couldn't get it done. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Flip me. Oh, God. How is Foxomania still moving? This is ridiculous. Oh God, he's covered in blood. He's not moving much, to be fair. <laughs> no. Can he please just stay down? So the Quad Skulls can have a tiny sliver of hope. Lovely yep. backbreaker. Oh, don't let him tag. Don't let him tag, Rick. Right? Uh oh. <laughs> Imperative that they don't let him tag. If he tags here, then, then their, their chance of winning is just evaporates, doesn't it? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Great neck crank. I don't think anyone ever gives up from that, though, do they? I'm not sure it's technically a submission maneuver. Just uncomfortable. Just sapping of energy. Sorry, I'm, oh. just, I'm just loving your PC. <laughs> absolutely brutal. <laughs> but there you go. Great stuff. Pin him, Elliot. Yes, yes, that could be it. Oh, he's cheating. Yes, oh, genius. God. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man! So the Yorkshire crew cheat and win. Sadly, the Quad Skulls can't even manage a cheating victory. I think they could they could do with some howdy nick right now to put Foxomania away. <laughs> well, they might get a up nick. <laughs> they might. <laughs> <laughs> Jawbreaker from Elliot. He's still trying everything he's got, isn't he? They've absolutely demolished Foxomania. I don't know how he's still going at all. Space Cadet did enough. Then Rick went uh, two good rounds with him. Don't know how he didn't get him away. And then Elliot with a huge pin. Credit to Foxomania, to be fair. He's, he's kind of winning this by not losing. Yeah. And uh, it's late because it's been like a really intense match. But Archon, uh, I've got no idea... Um, if if uh, if Elliot has a tattoo, but I just thought it'd be funny to give him like you know like the rocks tattoo, but with his <laughs> <laughs> with his minor emote. <laughs> I thought that was funny. You didn't ask for a full body picture like you did with me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Rick. <laughs> oh, okay, no, no, it's, it's fine. Um, <laughs> Foxmania turned things around on Rick. He's going to be able to tag, and with it, believe the hopes of Quad Skulls. We, we oh. only needed that from you once, Rick, so that we had, you know, the stuff for Bezel's uh, pixelization. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, wow, nice leg drop. Beautiful. Is this it? Elliot isn't coming in. No. Just tag out, just tag out. Foxomania. He, he's, he appears stuck. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's gone for oh, the fox no. lock. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick no. Tap. He really could. He's been through a lot already. No, I think he, I think he got to the second. ropes. Thank goodness. Yeah, the ropes. Very rare that people Oh, get JBG intercepted Rick. <laughs> and it bought Foxamania enough time. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is there nothing this man can't do? Also, again, incredibly underhanded when they've already got a huge advantage. <laughs> Rick now fight back against the odds. Great uppercut. Side rush and leg sweep. With a plum. Yep. I'm teeing off on that bloodied face. I know, but but what's he what's he gotta do? Like, just needs to finish it, but it just seems 
There's no putting Foxamania away tonight. Oh, God. Yeah, oh yeah. Good. Don't don't go. <laughs> don't go up to the top rope in Yorkshire, Rick, for goodness sake. <laughs> What's he waiting for, Jim? He needs to fly. Yeah, He's got to get this done now. Here we go. Rick roll, baby. Woo! Beautiful Rick roll. Elliot's got to make the save. Come on, Elliot. Come on. He's yes. quick. He's quick off the mark, is Elliot. Yes. He's Come on. Win. Game on. JBG versus Rick, the two world champions of the JFW. <laughs> Rick's already in trouble, and he has been in there an awful lot compared to... Pretty much the entire rest of Team Yorkshire. Yep. Lovely kind of judo takedown there from yeah. Rick on JBG. Oh, wow. oh my word! Crucifix powerbomb? Surely not. What a ridiculously massive elimination this would be if this lands. This, I mean, this would be, yeah, this would be absolutely huge. We'd, we'd genuinely have a game back on our hands somehow. He's trying oh, to do it, Jim! He's oh, trying to put away! Mr. Unbeatable. Rick Roll. Oh, he took his own. He's too good. <laughs> He's too good. Oh, man. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Rick going to sleep. Oh, Rick's going to sleep. Oh, he's powered out. He's oh. powered out. Come on, Rick. Do the impossible. Find a way. Be the first man to put away JBG in an absolute age. I genuinely, I bet nobody can remember the last time JBG lost to anybody, right? No, I certainly can't. <laughs> I've got a feeling maybe he lost to Goliath, but like, I don't know at all. <laughs> can't remember. It. Oh, JBG rolls through. Elliot in the ring is definitely the right call from the quad skulls, but uh, it's already gone south. And here comes Flicky. Elliot's specialty wasn't being beaten up, I'd be worried by now, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, luckily, if there's one man in this match with experience, <laughs> it's Elliot. <laughs> Beautiful Oh my move. goodness, Elliot, yes! Oh, oh Storr saves him. Rick takes out Storr. Elliot's oh. going to finish Flicky. Oh, JBG's going to have to save him. Oh, no, the ref's down. The ref's down, Jim. No. Oh, no, the ref's completely unconscious. No, he's coming back round. He's coming back round. Tap, tap, damn it. Top. He's topped! He's topped! Oh my god! It's, it's two versus two! It's two or two! It's the champ and the ginger on both sides! I don't believe they've come back from 4 2 2! This is the best Survivor Series match we've ever had at the JFW. We're already halfway through. Yeah. Incredible. <coughs> oh, Rick is struggling though, Jim, on the outside. Thank yeah. goodness, Elliot. A whirlwind of energy right now. Are we actually going to see JBG put away tonight? I thought it was completely impossible for the last 20 minutes. It's suddenly looking possible. <laughs> what a match. Elliot making the impossible look possible. He certainly is. What a beautiful, flowing set of moves into a great DDT and elbow. Elliot just is on fire as his head of hair. <laughs> But oh, if okay. we see one good cutter out of nowhere. Yeah, it's all it takes. Even a good bomb, maybe, at this point. Oh, mm. my word, Elliot. <laughs> I was kind of hoping he'd hold on to that, Jim. Oh, no, he's going to tech store. Nope, no, no, cut off. Beautiful. They've got to get JBG out while they've got him down. This man is too dangerous, and so is a fresh score. They have to finish this. We could do with Elliot tagging in Rick and Rick finishing it, I think. Yep, I agree. Elliot's done amazing, but he's starting to look tired. This oh. is just incredible. He's well, holding on. Move. Rick's in. It's right next to Rick. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh and Rick misses store. That was a chance to completely take out Team Yorkshire there in one foul move. And uh, fortunately, window of opportunity has passed. Oh, well, here we oh, go. Oh, baby, though. Oh, here baby. Oh, the rowdy lock. It's the rowdy yes. lock. Yes. Flicky's already tapped. Is JBG going to tap? Gonna tap. tap, you bastard. <laughs> Show that you're human. Show that you're mortal. Show that you can actually lose for once in your flipping career. Come on. He's yes. done it. He's done yes, it. Yes, Elliot. Elliot. Oh, my God. Oh, Elliot was busy celebrating, but in comes Storm. Completely 
wiped out my store afterwards. No, back on his feet. Oh, my word. <laughs> I tell you what, I see this every week in Quad Skulls. Elliot just single-handedly <laughs> winning matches for the Quad Skulls. He's always the last man standing, but I've never seen him do it in the JFW. This is the strongest performance from Elliot we've ever seen. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, score with a clever takedown, though. It's looking desperate for Team Yorkshire, but if anyone can pull it out, it is the magic of Stall. <laughs> That's true. Maybe he was in the wrong attire. Maybe he should have come as a country wizard because <laughs> he's going to need some <laughs> magic now. Rick has to be careful here because Stall might come and try and tag him and get him to fight Elliot by mistake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be incredible. <laughs> fighting back it's a beautiful elbow he's been in for so long he really has to tap if he gets the chance and he's caught again unfortunately a tag sorry rather than tap we've seen a lot of tapping yeah. he needs to make the tag oh he's, oh, he's done his score he's beautifully evaded <laughs> oh no but look at this from store on rick oh. And uh, Elliot nowhere in sight. Oh Storm God. might get this down to a one on one. Yeah, he's, Rick has taken so much punishment. He absolutely could do any time. Oh, no, Storm. <laughs> the ambitious maneuver. It. If he lands it. I think he's got him, though, here. I think this is in range. Boosh. Oh. Cover him. Yep, this could be it for Rick. That really could be it. One on one. He's done he's got him! It's <laughs> done him! We're down to the gingers! Oh, baby! <laughs> what an unbelievable match this has been, Jim! Incredible! Two on two in favour of Yorkshire, two on one in favour of the Quad Skulls, and here we are, down to the final two, maybe for the first time ever in Survivor Series matchup history. Absolutely is, yeah, incredible. <laughs> Elliot! Had a break though, and he is showing the uh, the energy and the constitution that he has found. <laughs> Store hasn't been in that much though. I think Store's relatively flat, fresh here. This is yeah. Uh... He, he had a brief spell at the start. I don't think he even got that beaten on, and then he just completely demolished Rick. So yeah, I, I am a little bit worried. Uh, Elliot has an awful long way to go, and Elliot certainly has taken some punishment. Oh. <laughs> oh, we know who wins this. The ref will tell us. Yeah. They're, they're well trained. <laughs> Just have to trust the uh, the ref's conclusion and hope that he got it right. Oh, what a move. Oh, no. Can this Elliot make it? it? This could be it. It is. Oh, he's it got him. It is. Tell you what, hats off to Team Yorkshire. That was one of the best matches I've ever seen uh, in any wrestling. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, incredible performance from Store. That's why they're the tag team champions. Unbelievable! Wow, what a what a match! That genuinely was just unbelievable, wasn't it? Amazing, what yeah, a match! Had everything, everything, and we finally saw JBG tap Jim. He's yeah. actually lost. Yeah. But I mean, technically he won, but, yeah. but, but he actually got eliminated from something. Yeah. Unbelievable. Give that man a knighthood. He's certainly more deserving than Tony Blair. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Big up Yorkshire. What a match. What a match. And obviously what a country from Quad Scores as well. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, everyone's come away the richer here. Everyone risen in everyone's estimation, I would say. But you have to hand it to the winners, Team Yorkshire. Unbelievable. What a show. What a main event. A pay-per-view level main event. Incredible. Thank you so much, Rick Schiavone. Absolutely glorious to have you here, as always. Yeah, ple pleasure, mate. And I wouldn't want to have missed any of it, but particularly that main event for the world. That was well worth being here under any condition. Incredible stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>